Okay. This morning is going straight to Africa and our new generational leaders who are still yet to come. Though some are already put in place or in power by the Lord, especially in all West African nations. Take it, take it, take it. <laughs> Don't be fooled. Vladimir Putin does not really love you, Africa. Especially you, you young leaders coming up. Vladimir Putin does not really love you. Don't be fooled. He's only seeking for his own personal interest. And you don't even know if that is the real Vladimir Putin. These guys are afraid that Donald Trump transparency and uprightness has won the whole world. And since Vladimir Putin has already declared his interest that he never wants Trump on the seat, <laughs> he's thinking by the time Trump comes up to power, he must have won Africans to his side to join him fight against USA, which Donald Trump shall be leading. If the short next president of USA was any other person other than Trump, Vladimir will not open his borders freely for African countries to enter and join his army to help fight World War III that is coming. Take it, I say, Africa. And don't be deceived into joining the occultic side to fight Trump, the one God has chosen, appointed, and taxed and sent at this time. World War III is not your fight, Africa. Leave this so-called white, <laughs> white and brown race people to fight their fight and go down socio-economically and politically so that you, Africa, become their colonial masters in this new generation. Don't involve yourself in something you know nothing about, Africa. I'm talking to you, Africa. Not only Russia, many other European and other countries shall want to build fake friendly relationship with Africa. Well, it's not a bad thing to be friends with international bodies and nations, but tread with caution, as though you are walking on thin ice. Least these white people shall use you again the second time as your servants to control you, Africa, who should be their boss of today. The first fool is never a fool, but the second fool is a capital fool whose foolishness has been shunned out of the reach of idiocy. So, let's do everything with wisdom. If I am not mistaken, more of the African population stand firm in Christianity. And so, on this basis, go for the one the Lord is sending, Donald Trump, for the Christendom to be prepared, to be preserved, and enjoy a long time of edification and comfort. A word for the wise is far much more than sufficient. If Vladimir Putin can have allies like disgusting Kim Jong-un, and corrupted president of China on his side to fight for him. Then think more about the person who is saying, I love you, Africa. I shall fight for you. <laughs> for the worst world has been exploiting you for so long. Some evil demonic persons can use the factual truths on ground to even cage you the more into their dis disgusting captivity in the future. People using the truth on ground to convince you that they are on your side and bring you into real slavery. It's just like saying you love the present president of Nigeria than the former president. That's madness. <laughs> okay, the next prophecy.